back on the road again. Back on the road again. Um, get used to this seat. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> we're getting used to the younger motorways. No, we are off to Canterbury this morning. We've not been there before. We actually don't really live that far away either, so um, it's a bit of a shocker that we've lived in Ken now for coming up for nine years. We've never been here. So um, we don't know what it's going to hold today. We're just going to have a look around, grab a bit of lunch somewhere, have a look at the streets and stuff. It's meant to be quite nice. There's some, I think there's like a boat in late, uh, well, there's like gondola boats. So there's some sort of waterway. Oh, no. We'll find out um, when we get there. We've got some family with us that don't, won't want to be on the vlog, so I'll try and get what I can when I can. Um, I'll show you sort of around a little bit. Um, as always, if you are new here, please think about subscribing. If you aren't new, then thank you very much, as always, for coming along on our little adventures. Yeah, we'll see you in Canterbury. Right, we are here. We are going to go to the centre bit, but here is... Uh, is it called Canterbury Castle? Or? Uh, I think so. I know the cathedral is here. Wow, there's a huge... Quite a big uh, area, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's I, it's definitely looks like a modern Bailey castle. Go on, Tay. Give us some, give us some um, facts. They were built to keep the um, to show power um, by William the Conqueror, and as he travelled around London, around the um, country, he would go and stay there, and basically they would put all the farm animals and stuff in there. And when um, the village would be around it, so they could show the church here, so they could build the theatre. She lost a bit of history, um, Taylor. Um, well, I did ask, ask her about Dunkirk and she didn't know anything about it. So. <laughs> I don't know. She loves... Uh, um, and she loves, you love old, old history, yes. didn't you? Like Tudors yes. and stuff like that. Yes, Tudors, Victorians. Why did you say? And... Mm -hmm. Well, then Taylor's had second um, thoughts. I think... I'm not sure if that is the Morton Bailey Castle because the Morton Bailey Castles had um, wood around them and then they had like a mound of dirt and then they'd have like a tower on the top where the king would stay because the enemy would burn it and they'd use like arrow and fire on it and then the dirt would burn so oh, the king Maybe it's been adapted to it is like is it yeah, thousands of years it later isn't it? Years later, so. Who knows yeah. right we, we need to go around because we went the we don't really know where we're going so we need to go around again so we can go and park somewhere. So we have made it here to Canterbury look at this this is very exciting well, I haven't seen I'm just joking. We are waiting for some people that have gone to it, including Darren. And then we're going to try and find the cathedral. It's a big old shopping centre though. I've seen those shops in Primark. Darren pointed it out for me, but I'm not going to go in there. going to be good. We've only put three hours in the car, so we want to see what it has to offer rather than a Primark. But it's on the way back to the car, so you never know. There's a Primark, guys, right there. Huh? Yeah, I can see that. It's so Quite unusual here, it's cool though, loads of shops, loads of eateries back there, loads of places to eat, all your usual takeaways. There's a Cafe Rouge over there. Oh, hang on, we're stopping. Yeah, it looks pretty cute down there, we'll continue walking down there and see what else we can find. I'm trying to look for the cathedral, I'm sure we're going to turn a corner and just appear, but we don't know where it is at the minute. Look at like, the oldie weldy buildings. Hi Tay. Hi. Hi babe. Hi babe. Everyone's seen the sweet shop. Hardy's, let's do it. Oh yeah, Bertie Box. It's got American bits, so. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Nugget. Oh, dill pickle, look how much they are though. 3 99 I love these. Well, I love the crisps. They, they got worse. Is he not coming in? No. I had to get them two things, the Reese's bar and the um, dill pickle Pringles. They are expensive, but we're on holiday still. Sort of thing that you won't mind spending money on if you actually are on holiday, though, but. <coughs> I really want to try the payday chocolate as well, but they've not got any payday, so. We have to wait and try and find that somewhere else. Oh my gosh, a Harry Potter shop. <clears throat> wow, what do you like it now? Wow, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. This is my section, literally. This is so cool in here. Made up, really, look. Hey, look at this. 
Wow. That is gorgeous, isn't it? That, but Gryffindor would be. That is so cute. Even the music's also in here. So if you want something, babe, then we just can get it for you. Wow. This is awesome. How awesome is this? I heard about a shot like this here, but I didn't know it was like this. You can get ones, yeah. Really? Are you Oh, it's another American candy shop. We'll have to go and have a look. Wow. Oh, cool. That's cheap, babe. You go and get that for Universal. You pay two, three times that. Wow. Yeah, the one, the ones in Universal were so expensive. Hiya. This shop's awesome. We didn't even know you was here. Wow. I always see people like oh, girls on the bus. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Probably. I really want to eat them when we go. It's really dark in here. You can't really see that well, but it's literally, it's head to toe Harry Potter. This is my kind of thing. It's the same thing, but wow, a whole chest thing of it. Delivering stuff, boo, Grace. It's a bracelet. Wow. Do you get the chest as well or not? Yeah. £350. Wow. £350 for that. That is awesome. Darren's just found another American candy shop, so we've got to go in here and see what else we find. Have you been in already? No, man. Oh, Oh, there's a little step there. <laughs> a Wonka bar. I'm, I'm buying a Wonka bar. You're buying it, are you? Yeah. Six pounds as well. Oh my god. I, I bet you it's cheap. I bet you it's cheap chocolate as well, Bam. Look at these cube pops. They're cool. Oh, it's all very tempting, but it was well dear in there. Actually, one of the bars I got was just much cheaper in there, but some of the other stuff was two pounds more expensive. Some of the cakes were two pounds more expensive than. The other one, so very tempting, but eight quid for like this small bag of peanut M&Ms. Couldn't do it, so we didn't buy anything additional. But here is the cathedral. I don't know. I'm assuming you've got to pay or have a time slot. Oh, I'm just gonna walk. We're gonna have a walk around. Yeah, we're gonna have a walk around and see what. What's the going on? Yeah, we're going to walk around and see what's going on. Such a quirky little place. There's a creams there, and we thought it was a really fancy like patisserie, and it's just actually a creams, but with nice fancy designs. You're eating your millions. Millions. They're really good, but they're touching my teeth. It's very much like Rochester, which is where we're used to. Look, the cheese shop. If you like cheese, it's very nice down here. Lots of places to eat. It's going to be difficult deciding where to get something to eat. Knowing with the kids, they'll probably end up somewhere like McDonald's or KFC. I somewhere. Like somewhere that they know. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Oh, it's covering the scaffolding, but I think it's because they're cleaning it. I think actually you can't see, but that bit looks, does look a lot cleaner than that bit over there. Yeah, it looks really cute. Looks cool. Not so cool in the scaffold, but if they're cleaning it, then kind of a. Uh... that scaffolding up against that train. What are you talking about, you weirdo? We're still walking. We got down to the end and then it went really quiet and dead with shops, so we turned around. We've come back up and we're going to go up there because we came from that way, so we're going to go that way and see what's up there. Oh, street food market. Let's have a look what they uh, have got to offer. We do need some food, everyone's going to be hungry, so let's see what we can find. Do you want to get me burritos? Oh, that does smell so good. Hey, all stuff. <laughs> hey, guys, stuff. <laughs> Some of our family are Greek. Oh, that does look good, though. That's the Royal Museum and Free Library. It's a cool building. We just see a, a lady gave that busker who's playing a sax, uh, what is that, a flute or saxophone? She gave him a tenor, said he was excellent, which is really nice. It just goes on forever, this street. It's so like higgledy-piggledy together. You've got like this castle that's really old. 
the pound and you've got the waterways down there and then new build houses like down here and on the other side really pretty weather spoons over there and then the puntings down there might go over and have a quick look look how pretty it is down this side there's the little boats the punting I don't know how much it is, probably quite expensive, but look how beautiful it is here. Pretty! <laughs> look at this tree. It doesn't look real, but it'd almost be... What? So everyone knows what this tree is, let us know. It could be the tree of life. Kind of. <laughs> Any reference to Disney. No, I know. So I've gone for a chicken wrap. A small one. I'm not gone with halloumi though. Look how I'm cooking. It smells delicious, I'll show you it when I get it. Oh, look at these bad boys. We just all had different things. Darren had the German Donny Kebab, which was very fancy. We've got these pastries. I had that gyoza thing. I don't know how to say it, not gyoza. I don't know what it is, but you just saw it that wrap. I had the kids are off with family to another park, and me and Darren are going home. We're all home now from Canterbury. It was really nice. We really enjoyed it. Lots of different food places, as you saw. The food was delish. I smell of Darren's gourmet kebab because I dropped some down me, so I need to get changed. Um, but I'm not sure what this vlog's going to be. Just be a few little bits of Canterbury that we saw. We hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you did, please drop us a like and a comment and let us know what you thought. And if you've been to Canterbury or if it's somewhere that you're looking to go to. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.